Hi, this is Raymond Blockman, and we'll begin the Snore IDS Blast course. So the operating system that we're running is Security Onion, and you know within this operating system it has a suite uh, or sort of arrays of um, network defense uh, capabilities. So we have you know Snort, um, School Snorby, um, Elsa, and a range of other tools that we can use at our disposal. Uh, note that when you're in Security Onion, the default user, even though you ch you may change your name, like such as mine is Ray. You run under the uh, the uh, root uh, power root user. Um, so whenever you enter commands in you know terminal, you don't have to, have to change or you know switch users to root. Your username is already has those uh, the capabilities to do so. But uh, certain things that you have to do is like sudo and then whatever you're trying to do, so you can actually get those right permissions to you know save and edit files. So what we'll do first is we'll open up the terminal, and then here we're going to look at our config. Um, Ethernet configurations. So if cat eight, and then we're gonna uh, look at the three that we have. So eth zero is our management interface. Eth one and two will actually be doing the monitoring of the interface. So I'm using the 172.16.1 uh, subnet. So I'm gonna change my first one um, Ethernet adapter. So if config etac zero 172.16.1.1 netmask 255.255.255.0 and I forgot to add the sudo there's that one I'm going to set the one for number two or number one so change this to a two change this to a one and same thing for the second the, the third ether paste Change that one and change that one. And then if config tag eight, make sure everything's lined up as you can see. And as you can see. So we'll use mainly ETH uh, zero for management. And ETH one, ETH two, you really don't have to put an IP address, but I do just for uh, uh, reference of what I'm doing. So now with that, we're gonna actually go look into the snort config file. So in, in the snort config file, you can actually use this uh, to configure how snort runs. So cd, etc, nsn, go into that one. And you can choose either one, uh, like one or two. I use one. And then go ls, tac l to see what you got. Uh, snort.conf is the one that we always want to uh, config with. So we go sudo nano snort.com and here's our snort config file now there's two things that we're going to change really um, so when you initially open this up you'll see a little bit something different like for example your IP var will have uh, the 10.0 network 172.16 and then 192.168 network but I change that out and put 172.16.1.0 slash what the 24 uh, uh, bit submit mask and then scrolling down you also want to input this as well so under number two um, is your output alert which this is where you want to put it at now you can put this uh, this whole command anywhere in a config file but you know for uh, order and um, um, <clears throat> and discipline purposes I put it here because um, this is where you put your alerts at so you know you can put this alert up here it doesn't matter but if someone needs to come behind you and actually configure alert or needs to see something it's all under step two so configure the decoder and you can see there's other alerts as well but this is the one that we want to use so we're going to output our tail file using this uh, this command and then control X to save and exit um, so with that <clears throat> that's how you set up uh, snort to get off the ground so it's already pre-assumed that you know when you installed your operating system, you had three interfaces uh, set up to config. Uh, the two that you're going to use is going to be set in uh, promiscuous mode, and um, running through the initial uh, configuration settings in the beginning of the document file for this course. So it's an understanding that that's already been done, and now we're just going straight to configuring Snort, and then um, continuing on. So with the next go around, we'll actually start looking at the local rules to configure the Snort IDS. Now in this portion, we'll set up our 
um, alerts to output to, to the terminal. So open up terminal and then input the following command tail tac tac follow NSM sensor data Ubuntu 1 with e going to Ethernet. Snort. And then enter. So here, whenever we gener uh, generate an alert, it'll populate here. So go ahead and minimize this, and then open up a new terminal. Now we're gonna actually start configuring our um, our snort rules. So here, uh, change directory to uh, etc nsm rules. Do a long list, and then we're gonna actually uh, configure local dot rules. So sudo nano local dot rules. Now here we're going to set up our new uh, rule. So the first rule that we're going to set up is going to be, you know, any uh, ICMP uh, packet that's going out to uh, the network. So we go alert ICMP any private IP address or any address uh, to with using any port going out to uh, dollar sign external net going any and then here you always want to put a backslash if your rules too long if you can't continue to write your rule and then you continue on the bottom line and you don't put this it uh, snort will cause an error when it tries to uh, update the rules so backslash and then here we want to put our, our, our rule body here so message basically how it's going to what it's going to say when it alerts so we can so home network is going out to the internet internet using ICMP and then quotations so whenever you use message you have to close out with quotations and then semicolon and then backslash again because I'm starting a new line and then I'm going to go <clears throat> SID and the SID could be is a um, security identifier. So each rule that you, um, you create must have a unique SID. So nine million and one. That's our rule. That's our first rule. So we we'll go control exit. Yes. And then we're going to update our rule. So sudo rule tag update. And let that run depending on how fast you got your computer set um, we'll go ahead and, and compile so we'll let this go for the first time and as we continue on the class what I'll do is to save time is to uh, pause and then continue on with the course Now, a good thing with uh, Snort as well is that you can uh, use other people's rules. You know, on the internet, you can uh, download rules from Snort. Uh, so the majority of the, of the rules are for free. And if you have your uh, security engine set out uh, reaching the internet, you can have Snort continuously update its rules um, uh, if if you like. Um, so it, it it all depends on what your your setup is and how you're employing it within your home or within your organization and for here we'll go I'll put it on pause and then we'll continue on 